Red light is between 600 and 850 nanometers in wavelength. Although as you get into the 800s, this is what's called near infrared light. And near infrared is not what you're seeing in a red LED light bulb. And to go further along, most red LED light bulbs that you'll see on Amazon or other platforms are just simply that it's a red light bulb and if it's not a specific wavelength you're not actually getting what is the therapy part of light therapy so when you are looking for an item that actually is red light therapy or not you want to make sure that it has specific wavelengths that have been studied or proven to show signs of muscle repair joint recovery collagen production increasing your mitochondria's ability to produce adenosine triphosphate and there's a lot more benefits it's two different light wavelengths, but here obviously we're focused on red light. So actual wavelengths that work can be 630, 660, and then getting into the near infrared could be even 810, 830, and 850 nanometer wavelengths. There are others a little bit below that, like 590, which is an amber light. It even goes beyond that to like deeper infrared wavelengths, which can be over 1000 nanometers. But what red light specifically does is it penetrates beneath your layer of skin and it activates mitochondria's ability to create ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, this gives energy to each of your cells. And when those cells specifically work better, that means everything in your body works better because at the end of the day, we are all just made up of millions and millions of cells. This means your energy levels will increase, your skin will feel better and repair faster, your joints will heal better because those cells are just putting in extra work to benefit your body. So although it does sound like a fad, just like a million other wellness things that are popping up on the radar every single week it seems right now red light therapy is actually something that has been around for ages because we do get it from the sun the only difference is that we're not getting uv which we do get with the sun and the uv will actually burn our skin causing us to get tan which can be a good thing or a bad thing over the long term if you don't protect your skin and that's what causes sunburn if you're interested in learning about more of the intricate details about light therapy and red light therapy in particular, you should definitely subscribe to our channel because we are going to be going over all of the benefits, different ways you can use red light and near infrared light therapy, as well as other upcoming light therapies that are not as well known or talked about. Those are going to be hosted on our page, on our channel, and we'd love to share some of this information that we're finding out with you.